This is my latest fixed wing design, a purpose-built FPV trainer designed for short takeoff and landing practice under FPV and payload weight experiments. With a wingspan of 2.2 meters and an all-up weight of approximately 3.2 kilograms without the FPV, this RC aircraft is heavy in relation to my other builds which are about half its weight. For this reason I kept the airframe design simple and went for the conventional tail tractor configuration for solid flight stability and easy control for effortless practice under FPV. The fuselage is constructed with foam board and greatly reinforced with wooden materials like paint sticks and the thick airfoil construction tailored for high lift and slow flight characteristics was the obvious choice aiding in short takeoff and landing performance. The custom made landing gear from carbon fiber is removable from the bottom of the fuselage while the rear tail dragger is just simply fixed to the fuselage and has no steering function. This of course challenges the pilot to master yaw control by ground and takeoff roll and rollout after landing but not too much as the rollouts are short anyway because the aircraft has more than 2 to 1 thrust to weight ratio. The power plant on the aircraft is the T-Motor AT4120 brushless outrunner with a 17 to 18 inch propeller size option on 6 cell to suit for different flight styles and different payload options and wind conditions. The aircraft has no flight controller on board and solely relies on the receiver which is something I haven't done since the early days of flying RC under FPV. But the idea is to eventually put one on there with the objective to capture amazing fragments of it from the skies with the Mini 2 like I do with all my FPV builds. So in the following flight video fragments you'd see me practice to fly and land the aircraft in line of sight because I obviously have to practice for myself flying this new aircraft along with its new size and weight before taking it to the next step by installing flight controllers, lights and an FPV system to develop from there. This is a three piece wing, 75 centimeters on the outer wings, fully made from XPS foam, including the formers and the center section is all foam board including the formers because I haven't made the end caps yet, this allows you to see the inside and it consists of four formers that creates this uh, quite thick airfoil and is quite effective on this airframe. It's about 3.2 kilograms of what you're looking at but by this airfoil this plane literally floats like one that is less than one and a half kilograms, literally. Now this is the landing gear. It has been attached to the fuselage with this uh, particular method. It's kind of like the same method on how I tie my main wings on, except there is a part here at the front that keeps it uh, nice, aligned and straight with the fuselage. This tail dragger or this tail section right here is just a piece of wood with an aluminum bar that just drags on asphalt and uh, other types of ground. Well, one thing that you guys might note as well is that this single 9 gram metal gear servo is doing the pitch on its own on this huge elevator control surface. Hence, I made these kind of like steps in the structure of the elevator. Because when I think about it, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, is when the oncoming air comes in like this, it pushes the or flattens the elevator down like that. But when the servo tries to point the elevator up on this portion of the elevator kind of like assists or aids with the servo to get this part or the control surface as a whole to point in the right direction that's why i made these steps as well which not only enhances your pitch control but also kind of like assists your servo to point the control surface in the desired direction and here is a parallel xt60 connection bus right here made by Ed from Experimental Airlines and then sent to me for use in which one of them is already occupied by the Turnigy YEP-20A switchable BEC that then feeds the receiver and I have both outputs of that BEC going to the X6R by FR Sky.
Yeah, there's a lot of power on this. Woo! That pitch authority right there, man. I just threw in 100% pitch at the end of its loop and it just kind of like flipped over like that. This carbon fiber prop makes it incredibly quiet. Drop throttle, float. Bit bouncy, but we got it. This was a joy to fly. I'm going to take it apart. Hopefully start editing soon and in the near future, put FPV and HD on it and see what that's like. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys as always in the next video.